So you're thinking of moving and you're dreaming of mossy forests, mountain scenescapes, and a vibrant eclectic city with endless things to do? Well, I don't know, Portland could be the spot. So here are my pro tips for living here after being in this city for almost eight years. First, go immerse yourself in the surrounding nature of the city. A huge reason so many people love it here is because of the gorgeous forests, hikes, mountains, and rivers within a close proximity of the city. I am gonna dive into the most exciting neighborhoods and spots to check out, amazing live music, craft artisan beers, gourmet restaurants. So make sure you stick around for that later on in the video. But you can drive 20 or 30 minutes right down the 84 freeway that takes you from downtown Portland into the Columbia Gorge and find yourself in unspoiled scenic beauty with breathtaking views, gorgeous hikes, and you can be deep in the forest just like that. You definitely gotta go check out all the waterfalls. It's one of the most awesome features of living in Portland and they're all extremely accessible from the city like Multnomah Falls, Wakina Falls, Punchbowl Falls, and more. When you're done exploring the gorgeous nature, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a comfortable, cozy, warm, or cool if it's the summer, home to return to. And speaking of home, one of the most important tips of all if you're moving here to the Portland area is to reach out. I just so happen to help people move to the Portland metro area for a living, so if you're moving in the near or distant future, I would genuinely love it if you got in touch to see how I can help with that. You'll find all my contact information right down below this video, so feel free to reach out via call, text, email, or just click the link to book a video call so that we can talk one-on-one -on -one to figure out a game plan to get you moved up here to Portland and help you buy that perfect home. But what I was about to say is we get the full range of seasons here from the freezing months of December through February and March to the vibrant colorful spring revival that happens after that. We aren't called the City of Roses for nothing. To the hot summer months that can be very lovely in the 80s most of the season, but sometimes spike into the triple digits during heat waves. To the colorful and striking colors of fall, when the whole city turns orange, gold, and red, and there are leaves everywhere, it makes you feel like you're living in a movie. That being said, make sure your house is insulated with an effective heat source because, well, you can't buy a house without an effective heat source, but also because that'll help protect you from the cold. And it's also a nice luxury to have an AC unit for those heat waves in the summer. Many people think they won't need one living in Portland, but I promise you when the whole city is sweltering at 105 degrees, you're going to wish that you were one of the lucky ones who was chilling in their home with cool air and a cool drink. Next, go explore the neighborhoods of Portland. Portland is an extremely bikeable city with protected neighborhood greenways for bikers and bike lanes and even special bike traffic lights throughout the neighborhoods and the inner city. So if that's something you're comfortable with, I recommend investing in a great reliable street bike as a way to enjoy and explore when the weather is nice out. When the weather is nice, you will definitely see everyone outside in sidewalk cafes and bars, biking, going on walks and hanging out in parks. It's kind of like San Francisco in that way. Some of my favorite neighborhoods to explore are Northwest Knob Hill neighborhood on 23rd Avenue. This neighborhood is a little bougie and very fun and beautiful with bars, restaurants, boutiques, and high-end wellness and fitness centers. It's very walkable, clean, and with a sophisticated feel and gorgeous old brick buildings. Then there's Northeast Mississippi and Alberta Avenue. These streets have a younger artsy feel with vibrant nightlife and countless bars, music venues, and vintage boutiques. Be sure to check out Mississippi Studio Alberta Street Pub, Alberta Rose Theater, all for their live music and events. Then stroll around and hit one of the foodie restaurants, craft cocktail bars, or gourmet food carts. Of course, there's Southeast Hawthorne and Division Street, one of my favorite neighborhoods in the city. These are also unique, vibrant, and artsy neighborhoods, chock full of unique eateries, boutiques, vintage shops, bars, and nightlife. I love the historic Baghdad Theater on Hawthorne. You can go catch a film there and then stroll the boulevard and people watch. There is great people watching to do in Portland, trust me. The next pro tip, get involved with something. Got the job, you got the house, you got the dog and all the rain gear. Now it's time to find a group organization, craft or hobby because Portland is a hub for interesting groups to gather, creative people, hobbyists, nature enthusiasts, musicians, pretty much any hobby or interest you can think of. One of the best ways to get involved is to walk around some of those 
those neighborhoods I mentioned earlier. There are flyers all over the streets in cafes and shops for local events, meetups. Look at them and participate. So if you have an interest or a hobby or passion that calls to you, there are surely people and groups that are just waiting for you to walk in and be a part of them. You can also subscribe to music venue mailing lists so you know when your favorite bands are playing. Travelportland.com is a great site for general events around Portland. At Michelle Van Lee is an Instagram account that talks about some super interesting and random weekly events in Portland. Everout.com is a great resource and Eventbrite and Meetup.com have lots of interesting events and meetups for a diverse range of people. Of course, you got to get to know your local farmers markets, food co-ops, craft markets, and get closer to the source of what you consume, eat, wear, and buy. Portland celebrates its small businesses and its local farmers. A huge part of the culture and being a local here is enjoying the amazing produce that is often grown just 30 or 40 minutes away. Check out your local farmers markets to see which is closest to you. You may be able to walk or bike there and you will find some of the freshest and most delicious vegetables, meats, fruits, flowers, and products. It's one of the best parts of living here. And also make sure you check out the famous Portland Saturday Market. It's the largest operating market of its kind in the country and features the city's most talented artisans, makers, culinary superstars, designers, and more. It's a great place for unique goods, gifts, and probably a great place to buy something for your mother or for your partner. Make sure to check out the website because they are closed during some seasons, mainly open during the spring, summer, and right around the holidays. P.S. There's no sales tax in Oregon, so wait till you get here to make those large purchases. Speaking of which, if you are looking on how to finalize your budget for after your move to Portland, I'd recommend checking out my cost of living video right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you over there.